ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 3340 meteorologist Brian Peters with you for this Sunday, March the 2nd edition. Let's get to some sky cams. What a beautiful shot overlooking Clanton as we're looking to the south there. And a little bit of fog visible from Lake Katoma as we look at uh, a little water there in the lake finally, not as low as it has been for some time uh, at the Cullman Sky Cam. And then a little bit of sea fog it looks like down there low next to the water and over the beach. So uh, kind of an interesting shot at our Sky Cam in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Wouldn't I like to be down there with my toes in the sand? Up here, uh, here's the 500 millibar water vapor imagery this morning. My usual one was not available. Not sure quite why, but uh, not available anyway. And our next system is uh, kind of hard to see, but it's out there over the southern Rockies. Temperatures have climbed quite nicely ahead of that next system. As you can see, uh, the 60s going all the way up into uh, Kansas and uh, the western portions of Missouri, uh, Kansas City this morning, 58 degrees, very, very warm. Across the southeastern U.S., uh, we're not doing too bad this morning either. Uh, looks like temperatures generally in the lower 40s uh, for the most part, but uh, many readings still in the upper 30s, and I can see a couple there at uh, Gadsden at 34, so just a, a nice, cool morning to start with. Good news is we're going to get some precipitation. The bad news is it seems that the HPC forecast for the next five days is trimming back. Uh, the two swaths that you see, the one from Texas all the way up into Vermont, that is from the first system, and then the second system that we'll see later in the week is going to produce the rain down across uh, the Gulf and Florida. All right, let's get to severe weather. Slight risk over a good portion of Oklahoma, eastern half of Texas, parts of Missouri, Kansas, and Arkansas for today. And then for tomorrow, yes, that is a moderate risk for a good portion of Mississippi, Louisiana, and the southeastern portion of Arkansas with a slight risk covering all of us. And it looks like the possibility is that we're going to see um, good chances for tornadoes, perhaps some strong across southern Louisiana and southern Mississippi. Uh, but it looks like for us, we'll probably be dealing with a squall line later in the day. We'll get to some more details here in a moment. And then here is the slight risk for day three as the system uh, progresses on to the east. All right, here's the 06Z GFS model run. Here's where we expect to be Monday at midday, a nice trough with a closed low coming across uh, West Texas and Western Oklahoma. And at the surface, a surface low is forming uh, in the vicinity of the Arklatex, uh, where Arkansas, Louisiana, uh, Texas all meet down there. Now let's go to some intermediate times. Here is the low pressure area moving across West Tennessee and North Mississippi. This is around 6 p.m. and it progresses on and it looks like this northern track uh, is the one that uh, all the models are uh, going with. The surface low now centered over Nashville and this is about midnight uh, with the front trailing down into uh, western Alabama and then by 6 o'clock in the morning it looks like the front is definitely uh, on the Alabama Georgia line. And, of course, remember that precip is for the last six hours, so that precip indicating uh, where the rain has fallen, not where it is falling at this time. And then uh, here's a look at the um, – this is a NAM projection, but this is what, what they're projecting as the possible reflectivity. So it does look like we could very well be dealing with a squall line similar to the last event that we had with the possibility of embedded uh, cells that uh, might produce tornadoes. So it's definitely going to be an active time. By midday on Tuesday, uh, the front is into Georgia. And with that, taking the precipitation with it. Upper levels on Wednesday, uh, we're not getting as cold with this system now uh, as that second trough is hanging back. The first one is up over uh, the mid-Atlantic states in New England. That's the one that's bringing us the severe weather threat on uh, Monday night and Tuesday. The second trough now over uh, the eastern portion of the Rockies headed our way, but we're under southwesterly flow, so we're not going to turn cold until Thursday. Here is uh, that 
uh, surface map for Wednesday. The surface low producing looks like a pretty good storm for uh, New England and uh, the mid-Atlantic states up there with some snow possibilities. By Thursday, we're seeing uh, a uh, little wraparound moisture uh, as uh, the next system uh, comes our way, and it looks like we might see some snow flurries or perhaps a small chance uh, for some rain, but I, I think probably uh, the atmosphere is going to be fairly dry. By Friday, that system is beginning to congeal, but remember we've been talking about a surface low forming. Well, it looks now like the surface low will be very far south, uh, well into the central gulf as we look at the surface chart here, but it looks like we do turn much colder by Thursday and Friday. Look at those thickness lines, 540 line coming all the way down to Montgomery. Uh, that system moves on, and uh, we come under high pressure, and it looks like Saturday could be a, a nice day here with uh, the possibility of, uh, you know, cool morning start uh, and a, a mild, perhaps uh, normal uh, day on Saturday, and much the same for Sunday with surface high centered over uh, about, uh, well, the southeastern tip of uh, Louisiana. All right, let's quickly go out into voodoo. I know, uh, you know, we got a lot of things to deal with. Here's the 14th. Looks like a front coming in and bringing us another chance for some rain on the 14th, and that front does seem to uh, lose its push, and therefore the boundary stays in our area. So this is the map on the 16th, and indeed it looks like uh, we could be in for a bit of a wet period. Well, thank you so much for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. James will be back first thing tomorrow morning with the next one, and of course we'll all be watching that weather tomorrow. Hope that you have a great Sunday, and God bless. Weather, 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 weather.